So in the previous videos, you have looked at graphs like this and like this, and hopefully you have learned how to use descriptive words to describe how an object is moving, what is the displacement, what is the acceleration, and also how these graphs are linked to each other when you look when you can look at the gradient and the area. But you see, sometimes maybe drawing a graph may be a bit too much. Sometimes we want to have an equation to help us just ease our way through to find and predict motion. In this video, I'm going to derive the linear kinematics motion. This will help you, especially when you don't really always have to draw a graph. So let's go and look at what we have learned so far. So when deriving kinematics equation, we will start referring to the VT graph. All right, so I'm going to label the axis. This axis is the velocity unit will be meter per second. We'll still stick with the SI base units. This is time in second. Let's say you have an uh, object, maybe a car, maybe a block, doesn't really matter, where the velocity changes with time, something like this. Okay, so let's mark out a few important values. For example, let's say when t is equal to zero, so this is your initial velocity. Let's label the name here. Initial velocity. We call it initial because it means to begin the starting velocity, and we will give it a symbol u. All right. So after a certain period of time t, da, 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 let's say this is t. So let's say I call this t any arbitrary time, any time, like two seconds, four seconds, ten seconds. Okay. Something that we can substitute later once we derive the equation. It will arrive at a final velocity. So I'm going to write here final velocity of v. Okay, so if I extrapolate out to this axis, this one is V. Okay, so this is a very straightforward graph. From here, because the gradient is constant, the first thing I can say about this graph is that there is constant acceleration. Right? So how do I know the acceleration is constant? Because I have constant gradient. Okay, so from the definition and the understanding itself, we can form our first kinematics equation. So let me write that down. Number one, acceleration A is equal to the gradient of the VT graph. So if acceleration is gradient of VT graph, now we're going to look at this line and try to write out an expression for gradient. To find gradient, I will take the height divided by the base. So if I extrapolate out, this distance here to here, okay, will be V minus U, right? So I will take V minus U. U is not zero, law, okay? And of course, the time taken for the speed to change from V to U is T. So if you feel that this expression like very familiar, yeah lah. We are taking the change in velocity divided by the change in time. Okay, so let me write that down. So from here, A will be equal to V minus U over T. Now, something you need to know about physics people is that we don't like fractions. Okay, fractions, if can avoid, we will. So I will rearrange, I will get A T is equal to V minus U. Or in other words, uh, V is equal to U plus A T. So this forms my very first uh, kinematics equation. All right. So of course, uh, it is obviously since it's from this change in velocity over time, they're actually the same equation. I prefer it in linear format. Okay. What else can we tell from this graph? Okay. So we can tell not just the acceleration from the gradient. I can also look for area under the graph. Right. So the second point that I want to show you is that if I look for the gradient of this trapezium, okay, which trapezium you say? Well, let me highlight the trapezium. If I look for area under the graph, so based on our understanding of uh, the relationships of these three graphs, this one is actually the displacement. Okay, so I'll write down here number two. Area under Vt is equal to displacement. Let's look for area, okay? So this is a trapezium, 
if you are a bit lost, so I'll draw out the trapezium for you. This here is T, okay? T would be the base of the trapezium. The whole length will be V. This whole length here is U, okay? So I can now form my second equation already just by looking for the uh, area of this trapezium. So number two, what I would say is area under the graph is equal to S. Okay, so from here, S will be equal to half U plus V times T. Okay, this one is your second equation. Very nice. So instead of drawing a graph, okay, and estimating the area or the gradient, you can directly use this two equation. But you see, there is uh, some other equations that are missing. Because whenever we try to come up with a set of equations, right, we are trying to think of whether the equations are useful or not, right? So let's look at the first v equal to u plus at. This equation has no terms in s. So if let's say, for example, you don't have information about the displacement, you should use this equation. You can still find maybe the time taken for it to change its velocity or maybe its acceleration. Just like this equation has no terms in A, meaning if you don't have any information about acceleration, you can still find the, the displacement or the speeds or the velocities. So then, just to be fair, maybe we should find or substitute the equation so that we have equation with no V. Right, so that will be my third equation. So this all is done by simultaneous equation. So sometimes this will give student a scary shock. Wow, miss physics ah, is simultaneous equation. You can do it one. It's just maths. Tell yourself that. All right. So number three, I am going to substitute equation. So I'm going to label this one is equation one. Now let this one be equation two. So I'm going to sub equation one into two. Let's see what happens. Okay. So right now I will substitute. Um, I'll start with S is equal to half bracket U plus V times T. Okay. So equation one will be substituted, meaning the V will go away. To make it a bit easier for you, I'll change pen color. This V is U plus A T. Okay, so whatever I substituted here, it will be this one. All right, let's close bracket and do some simple algebraic substitution. This will be S half times U times T will be half UT. But you see, uh, here got U and U. Hmm, might as well just add them together, right? Okay, so I'll add them together to U. Maybe I'll multiply the t in now, just to make it a bit clear. So I'll bring the t in, 2ut plus at squared. Okay, so from here, what I will get is 2 and 2 will cancel out. I'll get ut plus half at squared. This one, hmm, very nice. It has no terms in v. This is actually very useful. Sometimes the question may not give you any information about the final velocity of your motion. Because we want to predict motion, right? We want to predict how far it goes just by knowing how long it has traveled. So this is a great equation to use. Just make a note here. This one has no t, no terms in time. All right. Okay. So just to be fair, no s, no a, no t. Hey, no, not no t, yeah, guys. Sorry. No v. Hmm. No v. This one has no v. Okay, so we have one more left, which is no T. <laughs> so my brain went ahead before things caught up. So this will be equation number three. So now we want a fourth equation without terms in T. So let's think about what to substitute. Hmm. If I want to substitute T, this equation can use, but I need to renovate a bit. No? Okay, so I'm going to write here number four. And I will just say from... Um, a is equal to v minus u over t. I can write t is equal to v minus u over a. Okay, so I just exchange t and v. Now when I do that, I am now going to substitute into still equation 2. Alright, 
So now if I write my equation, I will write S is half u plus v and t will be v minus u over a. Okay, so right now I'm putting in this v minus u over a as t. Rather, maybe I should change color. Hmm. So this t, I substituted with this t, which is v minus u over a. Okay, don't panic first. This equation looks a bit scary. But you see, uh, if I rewrite a bit, maybe I put the 2 and the a and I move it over, right? The 2 and a, I shift it over. So this one will be 2as. And then here, oh, you're so sus, uh, I can rearrange v plus u, v minus u. a plus b times a minus b. What does that give you? I, uh, teacher, this one I know. I know algebra, okay? It's v squared minus u squared. If you don't know, you can slowly expand. Take your time, all right? So at the end of the day, I know physics people, we don't like negative sign. We have to be positive in our hearts. So v squared will be equal to u squared. Bring the u over so that it's positive plus 2as. Ah, so now we have the final, the fourth equation. Wow, your toolkit all full already. You're ready to do kinematics level up. You know the graphs, now you have the equation. Having the equation is a lot like having a shortcut, right? You have the key to the kingdom, so to speak. But you see, uh, before you can use the key, you need to know how to use it, right? So when using this four equation, okay, there's four. Uh, one, two, three, four. You need to first double check and make sure that they can use Right? Just like when you hold your house key, you need to double check and see if this is your house. If it's not your house, please don't open. Yeah, you get the point. All right. So what are the steps that we can use? Okay. So there are certain conditions or suggestions that I tell us students to consider before they start. So I will write here as a warning, but I will also remind you along the way. So maybe I'll put an exclamation point here. Warning. Only use if acceleration is uniform. Teacher, why uh, acceleration must be the same? Uh, uniform or constant? Only use all of these four equations if acceleration is constant. Because remember where does this all these equations come from? They come from this beautiful straight line. Ah, so if this line is not straight, can I say that the gradient can be found by this expression? cannot law have to differentiate bring in my friend dy dx calculus can i say that the area is a trapezium if this line this this angle this inclined line is a curve no all right so whenever you want to use the equations make sure make sure the conditions here is that you have constant acceleration if the acceleration is not constant all the equation here cannot use 